I met Jimmy, I was, uh, he was talking to my neighbor. And I looked over and I thought, wow, he's cute. We hit it off pretty good. And we started dating. When I was in the 12th grade, they sent him to Vietnam. He said he wanted to marry me before he went away. And we did. I've been with him now 55 years. He came home and we started our life. He worked for the post office for 35 years and he retired. And he took a little part-time job, medical transportation. And one day he called me and he said, I don't know where I'm at. I said, listen, Jimmy, stop somebody on the street. Somebody that looks good, put them on the phone. This young man brought him home. I took him to a neurologist and they had me bring him like six in the morning. And we were there till like six in the evening. And by six o'clock in the evening, he didn't even know who the president was. He always wanted to retire in Savannah, Georgia. So we left our house and we moved to Savannah. That's eight years ahead. I'm sorry. It was good eight years. He had these many strokes and uh, he couldn't talk anymore. And then we came back here and it just kept progressing. When Jim first got sick, I didn't realize that it was service connected. I received a letter that they were in Agent Orange area. They didn't know what was gonna come of this. The neurologist was the one that explained to me that the Agent Orange chemical brought on early dementia and PTSD. So I put him in a nursing home and I was there three times a day, every day. I couldn't seem to leave him. They weren't taking care of him the way I wanted him taken care of. So I finally brought him home and I couldn't handle him. It was a lot. The VA put me with Bayada. And then they sent me Juana. Cuando yo empecé, él saca su enfermedad agresiva. No es porque él quiere, sino porque él, es así la enfermedad. Entonces él era agresivo. Yo me sorprendí, pero como yo no soy de la que corre, eh, nada, yo lo observé, lo estudié detenidamente. Lo que más sí me impedía era, es como el inglés, comunicarme con él, pero nada, boté el miedo y el poco de inglés, qué sé, lo, se lo digo, lo hablo y lo aprendí allá, aprendí a hablar. When you got the referral from Mr. Dunlop, I went out to open the case. Juana was there with me, and Mrs. Dunlop was explaining all the difficulties she'd had with her husband. In many cases, he was still at war. He needs the care. His wife needs the help. She can't do this alone. So I thought, well, if anybody's up to the task, it's going to be Juana. She's dealt with many difficult clients, including Mr. Dunlap. She's very persistent, I would say, and very consistent. And it is Juana who dedicates her patience and her commitment to make sure that he understands and that she's able to fill his needs. Juana had that sad compassion since day one. Once you realize that he didn't feel comfortable making certain moves or accepting new people, she just gave him his time. And then he started feeling like comfortable with her and like trusting her. Pero quizá mi manera de yo tratarlo y que yo le doy su tiempo, ahora él no es tan agresivo. Al menos quizá él me conoce. Digo yo, él me conoce dentro de su mundo y, y como yo le doy su tiempo, que trabajo al tiempo de él, él es menos agresivo ahora. Thanks to Juana, he's walking again. She does a lot. She bathes him, she does his room, brings him downstairs, and fixes his, his breakfast. It's obvious she cares about him. She cares how he feels and what he's doing, and that is the difference. Tienen una ese, un excelente trato conmigo y nada yo valoro que ellos quieran cuidarlo en casa porque quizás para ellos fuera más fácil eh, llevarlo a un centro más en su condición porque muchas van y no han querido quedarse 
y quizás yo, esa es la forma, porque yo valoro que la familia quiera quedarse con, con el paciente y no salir de él. Pienso que por su familia, porque su familia es muy, muy, muy buena, muy nice. La familia lo es todo. Entonces, imagínate, yo creo que yo trato a los pacientes como me gustaría que cuando yo esté en esa época, me trate. She's been taking care of people since she was really young. We are not from this country. We didn't all come at the same time. So there were family members who had to come first and leave their kids behind, and she would be the one to step in and take care of them. That really set her up to be the person she is now. She's an example for all of us, not just other home health aides to follow. She's an example for everyone. If you can do what Juana does, or you can care about people with your heart like Juana does, we would all be better people for it. Yo amo lo que lo que hago, porque si yo no no amara mi trabajo, yo no podría hacerlo. Es que nadie puede hacer un trabajo que no ama.